everybody, it's time once again for another thrilling episode of Cynical Shiny Plays Through Super Mario Land 2. Now last time I said we were going to play through the tree zone, so I believe we're going to do that now. Go ahead and get my down here. And last thing we'd done last time was go through the uh, coin mound that's right by our castle. We can get like extra lives and power ups, you know, for all the coins that you collect during the levels. So we did that at the end, and all we got was one life for like 200 coins. So you know, that's how it happens sometimes. It's basically gambling. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and enter the tree zone here. All right, so we got one, two, three, four, five levels to go today. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's start out here at the roots of the tree. Just running through here, just kind of bouncing around on the roots here, avoiding all the enemies. There's, diff there's different enemies. There's frogs. There's like moles with drill noses that pop out of the ground. And the frogs jump around and like release their tongue, like flick their tongues at you. And there's like a uh, like bees or fly things. And there's just all sorts of stuff around this level that is out to kill you. And it's your job to avoid it. And there's these armadillo people at certain points of the game. Oh, I just got a fire. I just got an invincibility man. Excuse me. I'm gonna go kill some people and get some extra man. Oh, yes. Kill him. Get him. Get him. Oh, man. Yes. Ah, uh, two. Three. I uh, ended up with three extra men out of that. That was pretty awesome. That basically just helped me blow through a lot of this level, because I am at the end of it already. Wow, alright. But that's, you know, there's nothing really to that level. You just kind of hop on the roots of the tree and avoid it. You know, avoid all the enemies and collect the coins if you want to, and, you know, basically go from there. And our mini game this time is the mice, or as I like to call it, the Mises mini game. So I'm just going to basically hit this uh, third thing here and we'll see what I'm going to get. Looks like I might get a extra man. So I ended up with four extra men out of that level. Pretty good start for this place. So basically we're going to hit the next level now. So we're basically entering into the actual tree itself. So we're kind of like in the tree and there's like a bunch of sap and everything. And there is a secret entrance for a secret level in this particular level. And I'm going to try to get it. I'm going to be Fire Mario right now. This level has a bunch of like different paths you can take and everything. So it's really fun to play through, but it can be kind of a pain in the butt sometimes too. You got cowfish. And all the in the tree sap and everything, and it's just it's crazy. Basically, what I want to try to get is some bunny ears, because that'll help us get to our uh, secret entrance in this level of this particular world. There's only one in this world, I believe. There might be two, but I think there's only one. There's two in the pumpkin zone, but we'll wait until we get there. Oh, Bomb Koopa, our little friend from the very first game, Super Mario Land One. The bomb Koopas, which were Koopas with bombs on their shells. And I just got the uh, halfway mark there, and there's another fire flower. I don't need the fire flower, guys. Oh, another bomb Koopa. Oh, got out of that blast radius pretty quickly, thankfully. Let's see. Kind of just hop around here. Oh, darn it. I just landed in a bunch of spikes. Okay, so. I'm looking for a pair of bunny ears. Where can they be? They have to be around here somewhere. Because I am near the entrance to our secret level, and I can't quite get it right now. But, so what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to go find a pair of bunny ears, which I shouldn't be... Hmm. Shouldn't be too tough, I don't think. Oh, darn it. So, basically, I'm going to have to try and find a pair of bunny ears. Oh, no. Oh. It's, the level's kind of hazardous, so pardon me if I'm kind of quiet. 
because I'm trying to get through it as quickly as possible, and not only that, try to find the secret entrance without, all without dying, as a small Mario, and it's kind of a bit difficult. Luckily, I left a fire flower up here, so that'll help. Ah, ah, there we go. Alright, now there should be some bunny ears somewhere. I thought so. I had to play this level again. Oh, darn it. I just lost my fire flower again, but there just happened to be another one I left. Oh, no, wait. I found a, I found a secret path. It's near the very beginning of the level, but you kind of fall through this goop all the way at the end, and you hit a warp pipe. And there's a box with a pair of bunny ears at the very bottom of it, and a bunch of bomb koopas and stuff. And a very long spike pit, and you gotta basically, like, hop on the bomb Koopas to keep in the air while you're bunny your Mario. But, if you manage to make it all the way to the end, without dying or anything, you get some good stuff. You get an extra man and a bunch of free coins. And then you get another little obstacle course, avoiding bomb Koopas by jumping through goop-filled areas in the foreground. Until you hit another uh, war pipe. We'll go up the war pipe. And that basically spits us out right at the end of the level. Right where we want to be. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to head back up. Because with the bunny ears, if you hold down A, the the uh, button you use to fly, when you're in the goop, the tree sap or honey or whatever you'd like to call it. I think it's a bit tree sap actually. Um, then... Like, he'll maintain, like, a constant, like, um, trajectory up, basically. So, I'm gonna hop all the way to the end. Alright, got through to the secret warp pipe here that only you can get through with bunny ears, because that's the only way you can get it, because that's the only way it gives you the option to get it. So you gotta get the bunny ears, you gotta find the bunny ears in this level, and you gotta use them. Yeah, so that's basically spit us out the secret level right over here at the end. So I'm going to go ahead and just beat it. And it's more like, uh... Hmm. Should I keep the bunny ears or go for the fire flower? Eh, let's keep the bunny ears. I want to get through this. There's not much. It's just a bunch of Koopas with a bunch of coins. I'm just killing them with a shell I tossed, following close behind it. Oh, just bounced off. Okay. Send another shell flying. Got an extra man there. Okay. Some coinage. Oh, darn it. I just lost my bunny ears. Dang it. I kind of fell through some cracks in a uh, bunch of uh, those roots from the first level that this level's made up of. And I landed right on a turtle shell when I did. But I still am Big Mario, and I collected two extra men out of that. So I'm going to go ahead and exit. So we beat our secret level here, and now we got flowers in the background of our world here, along with leaves. So I'm going to go ahead and... Now i got to go ahead and beat this last level again, so I'm going to go ahead and do that real fast. I'm gonna go ahead and grab that fire flower while I'm at it. I'm just going to go ahead and just doo -doo, fly through the tree sap here, spitting fireballs as I go. Mm, mm, yeah, you can hear that. Mm. Spitting fire, spitting hot fire, spitting hot fire. Okay, oh, about jumped right into some spikes. That's not a good thing. Need to be more careful. But I'm just kind of blowing through this level because we've already beaten it once. Got the halfway, got the halfway bell. Jump through some more tree sap over some spikes. But it's basically just like a uh, mad dash to the end. Oh, dang it. I kind of got a little greedy and didn't jump soon enough and lost my fire flower, but that's alright. We're still big Mario. We still got a free extra hit. And fall down here. Now we're at the very end of this level again. I'm going to use these uh, tree sap pellets to jump my way up to the top. Boop. And we get the conveyor belt bonus level this time. 
So, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Let's see, I'm hoping for like a fire flower or some bunny ears. Uh, I'm gonna go for it now. Oh, I got three, a three life heart. Which is good in itself, but that is not what I was really looking for at this point. So basically, I have a choice. I can either do the uh, ant level, or I can do the uh, B level. I'm gonna do the B level. Dun, 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 dun. And that was a bad mistake because I just lost my big man. But I got a fire flower at the very beginning of the level, so I'm Fire Mario. And there's like, there's uh, bees in this level that can only die from like your spin jump. And then there's also like dry, dry bone bees that you can jump on. But they don't die. They only like crumble like dry bones. But they'll form back up and chase after you. And then there's also like bee thwomps. Like thwomps that are bees. Big old bumblebees. That fall from the sky at you. In fact one just hit me. I lost my fire flower because of it. And there's like these little larvae on the ground. That act like goombas. So this is like a tree based. Uh, normal Mario level a little bit. Just based in a honeycomb kind of area. And then you got these green, frowny, uh, things with spikes on them that you cannot jump on. That. Run, 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 you'll be well done. Go ahead and... There's a... Yeah, there it is. Got an invincibility, man. I'm gonna go ahead and kill all these... All these monsters on this level. And collect my, uh, bell. man out of it. Oh, no, there's no more enemies. Killed them all. But I didn't quite get the extra man for it. But I got a fire flower out of it. And I cleared out the level. For that particular part of the level, anyway. Okay, bees! Bees! The bees! So I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of avoid these bees. Oh, zombies! Alright, but we're at the end of this level. I'm gonna go ahead and end it. Okay, we got the Mises minigame again, and I'm gonna go ahead and hit the third one again, and see what I get. Looks like I might get a mushroom, which is gonna make me Big Mario, taking away my Fire Flower, which sucks. That's the worst thing that could happen at that particular time. So basically, I can either take on, I think I'm gonna take on, go ahead and take on the uh, ant level, which is basically like our uh, sky and the branches of the trees and stuff. It's like basically our like platforming level for this for this world, and it can be quite difficult if you aren't careful where you jump. And there's like piranha plants, not only both varieties, the ones that you're just come up and down out of the pipes, and the ones that also spit fire at you, which just happened to me, unfortunately. But I got an extra man out of it. Found some found a hidden man in there. This world, like, Tree Zone's not my favorite world, but it is kind of an easy world to get through. Oh, gosh. Oh, oh I just oh, I lucked out there. Since I don't have the bunny ears, the best way to beat this level, really, is to go through with the bunny ears. And since I don't really have much of the way of bunny ears, oh, speak of the devil, got just found a, a carrot and got the bunny ears. So I'm able to... I'm able to, like, uh, traverse this level a bit better. Oh, I just let a heart go. Dang it. I was flying through the air and uh, my head hit a hidden block and got a heart. But, I was near the end of the level. But I'm going to try and get that bell. Because I'm almost, I almost beat the level without getting the bell. But I'm going to get the bell. Bing! We got the conveyor belt mini game again. Three life hearts. Nice. It's not bad on that. I ain't mad. I ain't mad at that at all. So now we only got the final level of the tree zone, is where we fight the boss. Which happens to be a big gigantic bird. In fact, 
when you get when you play this level, that's like your destination is the very top of the tree to a gigantic bird's nest, and the bird is, does not look happy. And we got this nice, happy, upbeat music. But we also got another outdoor platforming level, which kind of sucks because I kind of bad at this. But thankfully, I bounced on a bunch of Goombas and propelled my way pretty much through a hard part of the level. These bunny ears are great. Bunny ears make are so OP. They are just absolutely amazing. They're just absolutely fantastic. See, I already got the halfway bell. I mean, I'm just blowing through these levels. I'm sorry, guys, but I'm just blowing through these levels because that's the way to do it, you know? If you don't blow through these levels, you just, you'll end up not having enough time to do them all, and, you know, that's not what I want. I want to do them all. We're going to beat Wario. We're going to defeat that stupid doppelganger piece of crap, steal my castle, causing all sorts of mayhem and stuff, and all that good happy stuff. Speaking of which, I'm already at the end of the level. So I'm going to take a moment. Kind of let the music play a little bit here. And just kind of... It's got 414 seconds left in the game. I'm just going to kind of take a minute and say... I appreciate you all for listening to these. And, you know... If I'm going too fast, I'll try to slow it down in the later episodes, you know? But the Pumpkin Zone especially is going to be a big... Like a big one. And so is the macro zone, I think. I might have to split those up. I definitely think the pumpkin zone is going to have to split up in a two part episode, but I think the macro zone might have to be as well. Hopefully not, considering how long this has taken me to do this one. But you never know, and I just thought I'd give you all a heads up, just in case, like, I have to do a two part episode for the last two zones. But. We won't have to do it for this one, because we're at the very end of the level, and we're getting ready to go fight the boss. So, how about we go ahead and do that, and get this episode done and over with, shall we? Alright. So, our bird's flying over the top, and he's going to swoop down. We're going to fly up and hit him on top of the head. Alright, got one hit in. So, he's going to basically repeat the pattern of flying up to the very top of the stage... On one side, left to right, he's on the right this time, and he's going to kind of swoop down. And as long as you got the bunny ears or self-aware and can do it, you can basically hop on his head three times really easily, avoid him really easily, and get the coin for the tree zone. And that is just what we've done. So we have four of the six golden coins. All right, we have four of the six golden coins, and I have eight hundred coin more coins. I think I'm gonna go spin some more at this mound. Might try a couple times. Might do a let's do a thirty, a fifteen, a two hundred, guys. How about that? How about that? I'm gonna do the thirty first. And this basically looks like you can get any kind of power up from a mushroom to a uh, heart or that stupid witch from the macro zone, which we haven't seen yet, but we will be introduced to very soon. So I'm going to go ahead and hit this button here, and it looks like I'm going to get Fire Flower. It's going to take away my bunny ears, but that's all right. I can always get the bunny ears back, and Fire Flowers are just as helpful. So now I'm going to go ahead and do the 50 one. This one has a chance to give me a power up, the witch, or some lives. So I'm going to go ahead and hit it now. There we go. Looks like I'm going to get a uh, mushroom. So I basically, like, devolved. I went from bunny to fire to super Mario. No power up. So I'm, I'm going to move on to the 200. And I'm going to see if I can do a little better than just one life with 200 now. All right, here we go. And I got 20. Got a 20 up. 200 coins got me a 20 up. That is so awesome. How many lives do I happen to have now? I haven't even been tra keeping track of my lives. 62. I have 62 lives. We are set for the rest of the zones and the Wario castle. And Wario's castle. I can almost bet you. So, basically now, we have a choice. Do we... Go ahead and do the macro zone, or do we do the pumpkin zone? 
Now, the pumpkin zone is going to be the biggest one that we do because it has two hidden zones in it to the secret levels in it to kind of make up for the fact that the Mario zone didn't have one and that was, so that got two. And the macro zone has one as well. And the macro zone, I believe, has one, two, three, four, plus the hidden level makes five levels. So I think next time we're going to go ahead and do the macro zone. Yeah, we're going to take take on the big, big house that's in Mario Land. So, yeah, look forward to that. We're going to be taking on the macro zone. And then we'll tackle the pumpkin zone. And once the pumpkin zone's done, we'll have all six golden coins and we'll be ready to take on Wario. So, stay tuned, guys. It's going to get really good from here. You know, again, I'd like to apologize if I'm going too fast on some of these levels, but... It's a Mario game. You can't slow down. You can't go slow. And basically, I, I just want to do these and beat them. And surely you guys can hear me jumping and doing all the stuff over the microphone. But anyway, that's just me talking. Never mind that. That's just me. <laughs> anyway, guys, this has been The Cynical Shiny Plays Super Mario Land 2. I am, of course, The Cynical Shiny. Thank you for listening, and we'll see you next time.